Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I got another one for you, another watch by the world-famous Dartmouth brands. So, um, Spinnaker is one of Dartmouth brands. I've reviewed many Spinnakers on the channel, and I think arguably, you know, we get a lot of uh, a lot of hate in the watch community, right? A lot of fake news, a lot of nonsense about quality and, and why why some folks are you know thinking you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get good quality. It's just hogwash. It really is. But with that being said, whether you like the brands that I like or you don't, regardless, I think that even if you dislike me, we can all agree that Spinnaker is a pretty well-respected micro brand. Now, it doesn't matter if the quality is exactly the same as like a brand like Nubeo, one of their other brands, or the many other brands they have under the Dartmouth branding, or if we compare it to many other brands that I can mention, some folks live in a dream world, right? I can tell you that no matter what, the quality of Spinnaker watches is awesome, right? And so this is, I, I have a lot of Spinnakers in my collection, uh, but as soon as they released this one, I was like, bam, instantly uh, made, uh, made, sent an email out to my contact, and I had to have it. Now, let's just take a little sneak peek. Ooh. Oh no, Spinnaker, you did not. So uh, this is called the Dark Turquoise, and this is the Dumas GMT Automatic. I have several variations of the Dumas. Arguably, I think it is, it's one of my favorite watches, and also of all the Dartmouth brands and all the different, uh, you know, models under Spinnaker specifically, uh, the Dumas, I absolutely love it. Let me just take it off and show you first. Let me just stop rambling. I'm gonna throw some pictures up here as well, and we're gonna talk about this bad boy, so check it out. So this is just a great look. It's funny how, you know, like I said, I, have, I think I have about four or five of these um, in different colors, and I like them all, but this one here with that turquoise and black, it just really pops. I think this is just an awesome color combination, and I really would like to see Spinnaker do more variations with this. This is not like rocket science. This isn't like you're over the top, but there's something about these like lighter baby style colors, as I like to call them, that you, with black just really pop. Uh, you know, if you haven't watched my other videos when I've reviewed like one of my homage watches to the docks, I've done in that turquoise blue. We have, you know, I just did a review on a homage to... Uh, to uh, the Patek uh, Philippe Tiffany uh, Nautilus collaboration, right? Baby Blue is very fun, it's very summery. I absolutely love the turquoise or baby blue, seafoam blue, whatever you wanna call it. They're all pretty similar, right? And I love what they did on this. As soon as I saw this one uh, advertised on their website, I knew I absolutely had to have it in my collection. Now, let's talk about, again, my opinions on what I think they should do with this particular watch, which is awesome, we're gonna talk about that, but also this color combination. I think I would really like to see them kind of do more of this right now and this may not be your cup of tea you know everybody likes different things and that's okay but as far as the other color variations this is the only one they do in this half and half with this awesome turquoise color I'd really like to see them do a pink variation uh, if we look at Aragon watches they do their limited edition very small runs of pink watches, right? It'd be a great way to kind of, you know, tie that with some breast cancer awareness stuff, or just, you know, I, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Again, pink is a color that, believe it or not, a lot of men are actually really gravitating towards, especially in a wristwatch, you know? Especially in a watch like this that is a very masculine watch, in my opinion. So pink and black would be a real winner. They can do the yellow and black, the orange and black, of course, and just kind of maybe, maybe kind of dig deeper into some of those kind of off colors, you know, those colors you don't see a lot of. Now, I would love to see this with this kind of turquoise blue and pink. There's some, I think, like Undone. I think it's Undone. Does a watch that's very pastelish, very light and airy. Um, I absolutely love that. This would be great in like a white. Imagine this watch with a white face, like a silvery white with that turquoise and, and white or even like, uh, you know, pink and white. It would be a real winner. And I hope that maybe they release something like that in the future. Now, let's get back to the what we do have in front of us the Dumas. If you want to get this in other color variations, I'm going to throw a picture up here, but just to read them out real quick, we have the Pepsi, uh, which is the blue and red. We have this variation, the dark turquoise. Uh, I'm not going to read the actual names, so they give them kind of different names, but they have a black and gray. They have a blue and black, which we'd kind of call the Batman. Uh, we have one of the ones that I have, the Sandblast, with that kind of a, like a matte gray and orange with all matte gray. We have kind of a blue and red, yellow and black, white and blue, very nautical. I have that one as well. Orange and black, 
Man, it's more than I thought. Anyway, I'm going to stop. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of different color variations. Um, arguably, again, I think this one is the best one. Um, now, let's talk about what you get. So the Dumas GMT is an automatic watch. It's powered by a Seiko NH34 GMT. Uh, we all have check boxes and what we look for, especially watch collectors, right? I don't know why I went to put that in quotes, like watch collect. Well, some folks say they're watch collectors and have like three watches. I think you need a little more than three, but again, it's a start. You gotta get you gotta get on sickness level like me and a lot of my 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 uh, subscribers you know 150 200 300 400 that's the sickness right <laughs> but anyway you have an H34 GMT automatic movement anything in the NH Seiko variations um, are are super well respected and this is something I think that they really should tie into uh, their new Bayo line right some of the new Bayo watches they have this kind of like no name brand movements we don't know what's in them I think this is you know this. You just so doing something simple like using the Seiko NH series movements in your watches is going to take your watch to the next level. It really is. People can kind of sacrifice a little bit on, not that there is, but people can kind of be like, well, I hope that this is, you know, a higher grade of 316 stainless steel, or I hope that this watch uh, is as good quality without it really knowing. But the movement kind of says it all. Like, you know, guys who are spec hungry, right? Guys who are, won't buy, necessarily buy a watch that doesn't have a reliable, robust, and I don't mean to say reliable as if a, an off-branded Chinese Seagull or something else won't be reliable, but having that NH34, it says a lot just about the, I think, it just gives people a little bit of peace of mind when buying a watch. So I think that that's something they should really integrate into every single watch that they're going to make. If it's an automatic watch and it's just going to be a, stand, you know, just throw the NH series in there, you're going to get a lot more watch uh, enthusiasts want to wear the product, right? Uh, it says you're a bold study in high quality sports watch with mechanics injected with style and flair. Synonymous to the Spinnaker name. And this is kind of a sales pitch. I'm not going to read this. Um, anyway, it's got a what they call a hex. A, hex. A, I don't know. Hex. It just says hex a hyphen shaped. I think they meant to add something there. Um, not sure, but anyway, you have uh, you know. You have uh, eight sides, this watch, of course, the top, bottom, and the sides. It's got a very nice, sharp chisel uh, look. I think this kind of like, this watch kind of, to me, when I think of what is watch, not necessarily remind me of, but what would I class for this? kind of has a vintage feel to it, right? I like, they could they could have just done standard round, and then we just consider, everybody would be like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a Submariner homage. Even if it wasn't, that's just what happens when you have a round watch that's simple like this, right? So I love the fact that they did something different. I would like to see them do more angles. I think the more angular you can get, uh, the more you're going to kick it into like that vintage styled category, and you're just going to attract, I think, a lot more people. We're all, I mean, this, you know, again, the Rolex, great watch, wonderful, we get it. But, you know, I think we're all just kind of a little bit, we're a little bit like worn out with the same old thing coming out, right? All these micro brands, all the, and again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I wear them myself, but I like to see something different, you know, and I think that the more angles you can do in a watch, you don't necessarily have to make them huge, right? But just more angular, um, I think is going to, you know, there's limits how far you can go, right? But I think that this is a, a great, um, I think, start in in you know making something that's just just a little bit different right uh you can get these on the shark mesh as well but i do like i might even got you know this is just a standard three link bracelet i do like that it's not just rounded it is angular you have some mirror polishing on each link and so you have mirror polishing on the inside this is great on the inside it's actually finished on the inside of the um the middle clasp right or the middle links or the center links damn tore that up uh which is kind of nice because a lot of times watch you know a lot of watches don't bother to finish the insides of the links, right? So I like the fact that they knocked that mirror polishing out right in the center of the sides there. And then we have this kind of triple angular link with mirror polishing. Uh, great looking watch. Um, we have some mirror polishing on the edge of that, uh, you know, that hexa whatever is <laughs> our case. Um, and then what I also really like about this is that I believe this is a glass bezel insert. So you get this really nice looking high gloss finish on this. It has some depth to it. Um, again, if you're clumsy, you know, glass may not be the best option for you. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't believe this is like sapphire, but I'm just not really sure. But again, you know, I'm pretty careful. I've never really had any issues with my watches. Um, I, I don't, you know, abuse them. I'm careful with what I'm doing. If I'm going to be crawling around their car 
or doing something that's, you know, I could damage the watch, I generally take it off. So, I mean, you can see just a just a stunning execution on this here. And again, um, if the baby blue or the turquoise isn't your thing, there's a lot of other color options to choose from. Uh, let's get with the specs here. Let's bust this out because I know a lot of you folks, uh, you know, a lot of times they're all pretty similar across the board. I'm going to throw this back on my wrist here because this is badass. All right, so we have a 44 millimeter case diameter. We have a 316 stainless steel. It doesn't say stainless steel, but most of the watches done by Spinnaker and Nubeo and most of their, all their different models and, and their companies under Dartmouth is 316. But again, if you need to know, drop me a comment. I can get a hold of the, um, the, my contact. We have a 22 millimeter stainless steel bracelet with fold over buckle and safety lock. Um, that's basically dual push button deployment, safety clasp. It is a milled clasp, which I think definitely, you know, again, it's not any better than, you know, a standard stamp clasp, but it just gives a nicer look. Uh, standard exhibition window with that standard black uh, rotor on there. I would like to have seen a turquoise one of this, but these are probably generic any 34s that they throw in uh, other models, so they just keep it black. Nothing wrong with it. It does have the Spinnaker uh, name on there, so I like that they've decorated the rotor. 48 millimeters lug to lug. We have a 300 meter water resistance, a two year international warranty, and a bi directional turning bezel. And again, this is a GMT. And what I like about the GMT is that they threw a little color pop of orange on that. So great, great addition. Uh, I like the way it looks. Cool. It just makes it pop a little more. Uh, and it is a sapphire lens with anti reflective coating. Again, a huge checkbox for a lot of watch enthusiasts. Uh, love this watch, love it, love it, love it. I can't say enough good things about the Dumas. It is one of my favorite watches. The only negative thing I have to say about it is we're just gonna need more, more color options, <laughs> even though uh, there are a ton. Uh, what else? Um, if you do like it on uh, like Shark Mesh, they do make Shark Mesh on for this watch. You're not going to get this particular one, but you might be able to buy a Shark Mesh bracelet. But I think this is perfect the way it is. I think this is my favorite spinnaker that they've ever come out with. Um, you also get a wicked turquoise uh, silicone. I think it's silicone. Rubber? Rubber silicone. I believe it's silicone, but I don't think they mention it here uh, as far as a strap. And I don't know if every... looks like s about four or five of these come with the silicone strap. It doesn't list it, but um, again, you know, if you need to know, I'll try to get you the answer, but um, you know, pretty fun too. If you, I, you know, you know me, I'm a bracelet guy, but uh, this is definitely going to look really nice in there if I do want to change it up and add a little more of that turquoise on it. That's kind of what it will look like. Uh, awesome, awesome watch. Uh, what else? Um, nice thing about it too, you don't need to have one of the tools, the forks to, uh, or the push pin removers to get these out. They actually have a little tab on here. You can put your fingernail under that and pop that pin out really easily. So it's going to be nice if you are a guy who likes to change up your bracelets often or your straps, you can do that. But in all honesty, I probably won't be adding that this uh, to the watch. But uh, nonetheless, I'm just glad they included it. So let's talk about uh, ooh, I forgot to mention this too. Also, you have that kind of glass turquoise, uh, I'm going to call it like a crown cap. I'm not sure if it's actually recessed in there. My, I don't think it's a sticker. It looks like it's actually like poured and recessed. Probably some kind of resin. So you have the new, the, uh, not the new, wrong company. You actually have the Spinnaker logo right on the inside of that um, uh, crown. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, all right, so let's go to the box here. You know, pretty basic, nothing really great home about. Pretty loud, busy box. Uh, Spinnaker, of course, cardboard. We're going to crack this open here. Very similar to what you're going to get in a lot of brands. I like it's like this kind of, kind of like a, I don't know, like a, not really navy blue, but like a greenish blue with that yellow. Got the Spinnaker logo. Of course, uh, instruction manual, not that you'll really need it. You know, um, we'll call them papers. <laughs> you know, uh, of course, a kind of an orange pillow. Uh, nothing, you know, pretty basic, right? Uh, but still, you know, nonetheless, uh, if you are going to gift this to somebody, I think the box is pretty important because you know this is kind of what you get. You're like, ooh, what is this? Would you get me? So, um, you know, it's all about the watch for me. But without further ado, let's throw it on the wrist. So I have this size for a seven inch wrist. That's my wrist size. I'm about five foot eight and I weigh about 170 pounds. So this is what this guy look like, you got my size, my height, my weight. And you can see a watch of this size, even though it's not a huge watch, it's not gonna be, you know, for you and Victor guys, it's not gonna be huge. Still 44 is kind of what I think most of the watch world's moving towards. I don't think that we're ever gonna see watches that aren't made anymore that are in the 39s or 40s. It is just subjective, it is a personal preference. They're all 
nice. Uh, just depends on what you like to wear. But for you guys who are, you know, into the 40-ish watches and you're like, hey, I want to get something a little larger, you don't have to jump right into the 50 millimeter. You can jump into something like this with that 44. So it definitely has a nice wrist presence. And I think that, that again, that turquoise just, it just reeks summer. It just reeks ocean. Uh, it just, it just to me is like a vacation watch if that makes any sense. And I, I say that uh, loosely. I hate when, you know, like, when we look at like cologne reviews like oh date night I always make fun of that date night fragrance like you know fuck that you can wear what you want when you want i i can't stand those little like kind of catchphrases that uh every youtube influencer uh likes to use date night so you know it's just like summertime oh when you know it's like dude you can wear whatever you want we're grown men wear what you want when you want but i do I, you know, I'm going to be a little bit of a hypocrite here and using a term like, oh, it's a summer watch. When really, again, it's not. You can wear it whenever you want. But I guess I just associate, you know, we associate summer with blue skies and nice weather. And this just has kind of an airiness about it, if that makes any sense. So you can make fun of me in the comment section if you like. But uh, anyway, guys, awesome looking watch. Definitely want to add to the collection. And, you know, for you folks who are... Uh, been watching me for a long time, and you know, you guys know I love the Invicta brand as well. But you know, really, I, I it doesn't really matter what the watch brand is to me if I like what the watch looks like and I like my personal check boxes. You know, is it on bracelet? Uh, again, not a deal breaker. I have many watches on silicone, on strap, on leather, but you know, I'll always gravitate more towards metal on my wrist. I just feel like for longevity, uh, you know, it just it lasts longer. Um, it's not going to break down, right? Unless you really abuse your watch. But, um, you know, a checkbox for me, 316 stainless steel. Uh, then I, I don't really have, like, I don't think I have a lot more checkboxes than that. After that, it's more of, like, preferences. But I'll, I'm willing to kind of, like, you know, if I really like the watch, I'm willing to kind of put those aside. But this watch really has it all for everyone, and I think you guys uh, definitely should add one of these to your collection. So, as always, links in the description. There's going to be a coupon code in there as well. Feel free to use that if you want to save money. If you don't want to save money, and I guess you want to, you know, if you want, I want to, you want me to earn more commission on a sale, then by all means, don't use the coupon. But uh, I think you should. Uh, and so pricing and some bad no news right now, guys. So these are out of stock. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. So they are out of stock right now. I would encourage you to go to the website and click notify me when available. Um, if you can live with a different color, they have most of their colors are in stock. But I knew that this one was going to sell out just because it's it's such a great looking piece. Uh, but I think close to that, you know, the gray and black, pretty slick too. Uh, you know, the Pepsis, I can kind of take it or leave it. How many Pepsi? I mean, we've seen so many of those already. Uh, but the gray is beautiful. The gray and orange, absolutely stunning. Uh, but Spinnaker, now this is for you because they, they watch my videos obviously when I make them, right? Spinnaker, pay attention. Yeah, I know I, I harp on you guys, Dartmouth, I harp on you guys about putting, you know, updating the website, adding the movement, adding the specs. But if there's one thing I really want you to pay attention on this is you need to make this watch again with some limited colors. You know, you can make them 100 each. You know, you don't have to go crazy on it. I would do more because they're going to sell. But do the pink and white. Do the baby blue and white. Do the yellow and white. Do those really airy pastel colors. Please do the turquoise and pink. That will pink per turquoise pink and like a, a turquoise face or a white face. Do white face. That'll just knock it out of the park. I guarantee that will sell. Um, or at least you know you'll sell one to me and I'll be happy. So uh, anyway, I, I, I that's why this watch is sold out and that should be a real indicator of what's hot in the market right now. So anyway, guys, if I can help you in any way, drop, by all means, drop me a comment, drop me an email. Uh, link is in the description. Let me know if I can help you guys in any way. As always, uh, Spinnaker, Dartmouth, thank you so much for the generosity. It's been a real pleasure collaborating with this company. Uh, so easy to work with. The communication's awesome between me and my contact. I can honestly say there's not many companies that I've worked with uh, that have this kind of communication. Uh, with the people who work with them so it's fantastic and that to me that same behavior kind of radiates down to how they treat their customers so you know take it for what it is so anyway guys have a great day have a good weekend be kind to one another and take care